Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. When Brianna Moore's son, Jacob, was only nine months old, doctors said it would be a miracle if he lived to be 20 years old. Jacob was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, an inherited disorder of progressive muscular weakness, typically in boys. It was spontaneous. Me or my husband, neither one carry it. While the diagnosis predicts a short life expectancy, it also determines those diagnosed will be in a wheelchair by the time they are 10 years old. However, when Jacob was just three, doctors began telling the family of a new drug, Exondus 51. It won't cure it, but it'll treat it. Jacob is missing genes 48 through 50. The drug would skip gene 51, and then genes 47 and 52 would fuse together. Like if it was blue, red, blue, red, then three missing is making it red, red. And if they take that one out, then it'll correct itself. While the drug isn't a cure, it will produce a longer life expectancy for Jacob, who is now seven years old. But the family's insurance is denying Jacob the drug, which would cost anywhere between $300,000 to a million dollars a year out of pocket. The reasoning is that it's not medically necessary, which I don't know how, I don't know how that makes any sense. Now the Moors are doing whatever they can to make sure Jacob has a long and fulfilled life. It's really our only chance. The family is currently in the process of appealing to the insurance company. They have also set up an online petition on the website change.org. The petition will be delivered to the company's CEO. To sign the petition, visit the website change.org and search for Jacob Moore. Reporting in Pikeville, I'm Shelby Still for EKB News.